Hey everyone, this is Danielle with NAC with a quick NAC tip. So today I'm going to talk about adding connection fields to your app, both where to add them and how many to add between objects. So as you start to build, you're most likely going to find yourself starting to add multiple objects and multiple user roles to your app. And eventually you'll want the information in these objects to work together. This is when you need to add connection fields to your app. But before we dive into this example here, let's take it back to the basics for a second. So what is a connection? Connections are one of the most powerful features in NAC that allow you to build relationships in your app. This is done by adding a connection field between two objects that then create the opportunity to link records in those objects. So in this case, for example, we may want jobs and applications to be connected together because we want applications to be able to link to a specific job. So where do you add your connection field and how many connection fields do you need in your app? First, you only need one connection field to link between two separate objects. So for example, here we have our jobs object and our applications object, and we only actually need a single, a single connection field between these objects in order to make them successfully connected. So in this case, we have a jobs connection field right here where uh, it says each field can connect to many applications, application records, and one job record. But if we only add one connection field to connect two objects, which object do we place the connection field on? This depends on the type of connection field that you want to add. So m the most common type of connection field is one-to-many connection types. And before I get too far into this, I will link in this video to our article that goes over the three different connection types if you need a refresher. So for one-to-many connection types, we want to place that on the many side. So in this case, a one-to-many connection means there is a parent object and then there is a child object. So in this example, the jobs object is the parent and the applications is the child. It's because in this case, for each job, you will want to have many applications. So let's, let's look at this real quick. So here we have the job connection field on the applications object, which is the many side of the, that, that connection type, and it's also considered the child object. You can also think about, a good way to remember this is to think about um, how a single parent might have many children reaching out to the parent. So in this case, we have a connection field on the child object that is then reaching out to the parent record, the parent job record. So let's look at these records real quick. So here we'll have the, uh, this is the job connection field and you can see it's linked to a single parent job record. So in this case, it's the customer success. We can also change it to company lawyer. So there, that is what, uh, when we say we create the opportunity to link records between objects, this is what we're talking about here. So we've added a connection field and then these drop downs have to be selected to actually make the connection. So in this case, let me put it back to customer success. All right. Now, uh, getting back to where you place the connection field, we wanna place it on the many side because this is often the, the first place that's going to be edited and you also often already have a parent record available. So for example, let's look at this in the live app. So here we have uh, a, fee a form that adds an application and here we have that jobs connection field, which you can see it just appears as a drop down, and it's only gonna let me select one job because that is the parent record that we're, we're connecting to. However, I can submit this form multiple times because many applica applications can connect to a single job. So I could actually submit this form 100 times if I wanted to, um, individually of course, but 100 times, and each time connect to that accountant job. However, let's see over here, um, just to give you an example of what it would look like the other way around, let's go into the jobs object and let's add another application connection field just to show you what it would look like if I put the app, the connection field on the job side. So we're going to, uh, we're going to add a connection field and we're going to connect jobs to applications. And we want each job to connect with many applications and each application to connect with only one job. Add that connection. All right, so now we added that new connection. Yep, there we go. All right, and then I'm gonna go add it to this form so I can show you. Let's edit this form. Add this over here. 
save my changes. All right, now let's go over here and refresh. So now what I've done is we have a one-to-many relationship and, and this is between the job object and the application object, except this time I've added the connection field to the one side of that connection to the parent object. So here um, you can see that, and this hasn't been formatted properly, but you can see these are actually application records that are available to choose from. And because multiple application records can connect to a single job, I can select multiple here. However, the reason this gets confusing is because typically when you're setting up a process, you might create the job listing first. You usually create the parent record first, then you come back and create the ch children records. Um, also, this means since the editable field is on the actual job object, this means that I actually can't edit this directly on the, the child application object. So this is an example of what is not considered a best practice, um, but just to give you an idea of what that looks like. Now, uh, so far I've only talked about one-to-many connection types and where to add that connection field. There's also one-to-one -one connection types, uh, meaning one record connects to one record in another object, or many-to-many -many connection types, where many records in one object can connect to many records in another object. Um, in this case, we typically just add uh, add that field to whichever object is going to be edited more. So, for example, if it's a one-to-one -one connection field, just add that add that connection field wherever you are going to most likely be editing that data. Um, that's just going to look similar to this right here on the application where you can just select a single record. Um, also, if you want to add a object field for the many-to-many -many connection type, the, sa the same thing goes for that. Just add that to wherever it's going to be edited more and it's going to look like this where you can add uh, multiple multiple records to a single object. All right, well, I hope that helps. That's just a quick overview on how many connection fields you need between objects and where to add the connection fields depending on the, the connection type. All right, talk to you soon and happy building.